Losing his second round match, he goes into round three. 140 kilograms, 6'4", this former US national and WF World Masters champion has a very, very tough test indeed here at the top of the MGM Grand. Leviathan Richard Lupkus of Rushmore, Minnesota, USA steamrolled his way through Ryan Espy after losing his first round match, also 6'4 and 145 kilograms, a legend of the sport. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. My name is Richard Lupkes. I'm from Rushmore, Minnesota, and I'm here to pull Tim Bresner. Tim's got such a, a unique style of pulling that it puts a lot of pressure on your bicep. And so uh, I think I'm going to try and, and maybe keep his hand a little tighter so I don't have to use quite so much bicep. And uh, yeah, it, it's going to be interesting. It, it scares me a little bit. With Richard, you got to be top notch to be Richard. It's just not going to happen when you're worn down. The man's unbelievably strong. I'm going to have to go with my hand. I think I've got maybe a little bit stronger hand than Tim, if, if anything. His hand's tough. It's hard as a rock. It's hard to get any pressure on him because he's just so strong. Tim's improved drastically over the last couple of years from when I pulled him last. And so uh, I think it's going to be a much stronger Tim Bresnan. That's why my hand strength is going to be uh, very important and I can try and control him a little bit. He's a nice guy and I don't know. He just. It's hard to beat that much strength. Hey guys, to the table, please. Here we go. The top of the MGM Grand playing host to the gathering in Las Vegas. Eight of the elite super heavyweights in the world. Yeah, now I remember what this man feels like. The man in the black shirt is Richard Lupkies. Good there. Of Rushmore, okay, Minnesota. A, bit of a there, true please. giant. A Rarely bit. is he matched in terms of go. physical stature, but in this case he is. It's a big hit from Lupkis, and he takes control of the hand, takes the pin. But it looks like the man from Rushmore, Minnesota, felt that one. He'll try not to show that in the early rounds, I would imagine. But if we look on the replay, he got hand control early. Bresnan in the yellow shirt tried to post the top roll, tried to rotate, open the hand and wrist of the giant American. Unable to do so. Lupkis visibly. Uncomfortable at the end of the pin, right? Yep. I wonder what asking him, are you all right? As he makes his way over to the yeah, corner. Everything's all right. Yeah. yeah. It's the same, just that's what beat. If you just relax, that's going to happen. <coughs> the man in the yellow shirt, big dog Tim Bresnan from Lisbon, Connecticut. Bad start to the afternoon for the big dog. And do the same thing every time. All right. Thank okay. you, Don. Thank you. All right. Same thing. <coughs> At this stage of the competition, it is a battle of attrition. A little bit like the Grand National. It's not only winning the race, it's getting over the fences. And how much damage do you take each time you hit one? Both these men competed twice at this stage of the eight-man tournament. Bresden with one win and one loss. Lukas. Himself with one win and one loss. They meet in round three, and Richard Lupkus may have come through the fresher man. He certainly is taking a significant advantage. Winning round two comfortably with the top roll. Let's look at that again on the replay. Big hit from uh, Bresnan. He went on to the running foul early, elbow lift, but it was of no consequence. Richard Lupkus. Pain or no pain from previous matches. He leads this arm Switch wrestling match in Las Vegas. Sure. Your arm okay? Nothing? Yeah, he's got, not got no strength. Okay. Are you able to hit with him at all? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to paint a positive picture, Don Underwood. It's a laugh and joke with Tim Bresnan. Underwood on a tear. He is undefeated here in Las Vegas. And looks set to meet Devon Larratt. The reigning super heavyweight world champion in the final of the gathering. Unfinished business here at the table. Oh, yeah. The man in the yellow shirt, Bresnan, needs bit. something and he needs it quickly. 
Don't move there. Go! Big, big drive again from Bresnan, but once again he's hit a wall and you can see his body shaking under the effort, trying to open the hand of Richard Lupkus. Win. But Lucas' leverage yeah. advantage yeah. is the difference between the two men once again. <laughs> and it's a very similar story to rounds one and two. Look on the replay. You can see Bresnan trying to pull, shoots his elbow to the back of the pad, shaking with effort, trying to open that hand and wrist, but really ridiculous hand strength from Lucas displayed there. Tim's style is different from everybody's. He, uh, Likes to pull outside, like you say. Um, you've got to control his hand, and he's got a super strong hand. Oh. Can't believe I'm doing this. Mr. <laughs> Michael Todd of Team USA working in the corner of Richard Lupke's from the giant from Minnesota. I can't believe I'm doing this. 12 rounds of arm wrestling already under his belt, or 14 if you take account of those that he's pulled here. Against Bresnan, and a great hit again from Bresnan, but he just cannot open the hand and wrist, and he's on a running foul again. Bresnan, with the elbow foul off the back of the pad, spots that from the referee and lets it go. It's four. <coughs> Lucky's into cruise control and he knows now he cannot lose this match. Almost released that grip. I'm sure his wrist is taking some heavy, heavy punishment. Bresnan so strong at the base. Not a good day. Not a good day. Not, I don't have a whole lot of speed left in my arm. Oh, my wrist is killing me. Oh, oh, oh easy. It's right, it's all right through here. It's just, I don't know what it is, but it was sore before I come down here. <laughs> Collateral damage for Richard Lupkus. And whilst that man, Tim Bresnan, the big dog, is working his wrist and hand, <laughs> and he can Good see nothing. me and hear me from where he is. He's obviously disappointed in his performance today, but he's unable to do anything with the giant in the black shirt, Richard Lupkes. He may be over 50 years of age, but as you can see, he is a physical freak, an absolute giant. And he's winning this arm wrestling match again. It's the running foul for Bresden. He's the first man to notice. And maybe trying to save injury. Releases that one, Lupkes. You can see his aches and pains evident now as he walks back to his corner. But he is having a great finish to his afternoon and climbing up the finishing rankings here in Las Vegas. A remarkable achievement for the man from Minnesota. I never want to pull Richard Lupkus again in my life. He's, he's too hard to beat. He's just, you got to be so right on to beat him. Ray Darling. I can't beat him slow and I don't want to go fast. The man working in the corner of Bresnan. And the just be safe and do your oh, yeah. I just don't want you like tear anything, you know. No. But I, it looks like you've got total control, so just uh one more, that's it. One more, that's it, sir. Good. Thank you. Evident from the comments of both individuals that the pain is a massive factor what? at this stage of the tournament. You're me here, Tim. The <laughs> gathering is a <laughs> brutal, brutal, brutal event. My freaking wrist is about ready to fall off. That's good there. Hey, don't move there. Ready, go! That's a lot better from Tim Bresnan, and for the first time, he opens the hand of Lupkus. Lupkus tries to adjust, and Bresnan needs to close that hand. He goes on the running foul. It's over, and it's Richard Lupkus with the win. We can see, now watch for that from Bresnan. He put the hand. Now, he opened his hand and wrist, opens his fingers there. That neutralizes his power, and it gives a perfect signal for Lupkus to come in with the press. So much leverage from the big man. And that's an impressive yeah, result for Richard Lucas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So humble, Sorry. but so physically impressive. I think Tom was, or, uh, Tim was wore down a little bit from, uh, we've had some really rough pulls and I think he was, he was hurting a little bit and so that really helped me. I think my hand was probably a little bit fresher than what his was, which was great for me because I need everything I can get. And uh, I just try to keep on my side of the table. I didn't want to get him, uh, get me pulled out, you know, where his strength is.
I just hate pulling Tim because the man is getting better and stronger every time I pull him. And uh, I know it's probably just a matter of time when he's probably going to start kicking my ass. So just, uh, you know, back off the training a little bit, Tim, so I, you know, give me a chance.